Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we created the, the tag page, the single tag page, where when we click on each tag, it shows us the posts of that one tag from anywhere where there is this, uh, this thing here, this, uh, pill. I mean, not pill badge, uh, from here as well. So in this video, we're gonna be tackling pagination. And since we have three posts, Let's try to show uh, two posts per page, meaning that in this scenario where we have three posts, we want this third post to have its own page. So we want these two posts to be in the home page and this third post will be in page two. And if we had, let's say, I don't know, if we had 50 posts and we want to show 10 posts per page, we need to have five pages and we're going to access them by having something like this slash page slash two. And here we want the, uh, the second page. So let's do that. Let's show two posts per page just to demonstrate that pagination works. Uh, let's do that. So we're going to create a template, right? We're going to create another template here that would, uh, be almost identical as the home page. I'm going to leave the home page as is now. And from page two and, uh, and, and onwards, we're going to have to use that template to generate the page to the pages. So let's create a new file in templates and let's call that post dash list dot JS, of course. And, um, let's bring in react from react and, um, let's bring in layout. Um, yeah, let's bring in layout import, uh, layout from go back one level slash components slash layout uh, let's bring in post because we're going to show a list of them so let's bring in post from the same directory slash slash I mean uh, dot dot slash components slash post and we're going to do a GraphQL query so let's not forget to bring GraphQL from Gatsby and let's Declare our component post list is um, functional component and kind of code block like that. Let's export it. Post list Ex export default and let's start working on our query. So export the not default uh, const uh, post list query and it's graphql backtick backtick and uh, and let's do our query actually before we do our query because if i do this query without doing anything in node.js it's going to be confusing so let's let's do the work from that side first oh by the way i didn't uh, commit the changes let's commit the changes and let's commit the changes except this uh file because this belongs to this video so let's just stage um the changes of Gatsby node and the changes to uh, tag post and let's commit those. So commit, not commit all, commit staged and um, wait, the following is not trying to save on, no commit anyway. What is it gonna, no, it's just gonna commit these two. Okay. So created tag pages. Yeah, it's going to leave that one. So let's go to Gatsby node. And now uh, what we're going to do, we're going to declare a uh, variable that's going to determine how many posts per page we want. So let's do const posts per page. And for now, we want two, right? These variables, we can create them, we can create our logic, and each time we edit these variables, uh, the number of posts per page is gonna change. It's not gonna, it's not that big of a deal. So now, for now, we're gonna experiment with two, but obviously in a real world scenario, you're gonna have either five or more posts per page. Two is way too little. But since we have only three posts, we're gonna do two just to demonstrate. We need as well a variable that indicates uh, which page we're in, so current page, and wait, actually that's going to be inside the loop. No, we need a uh, number of pages. So number of pages. So we need to calculate the total number of pages. And for that, we're going to use uh, 
uh, maths.seal, which stands for sealing, posts, all posts, dot length, divided by posts per page. Now, let me try to explain this. So, now, if we have two posts per page, and let's say we have six posts, or let's say we have seven posts, we're going to divide seven by uh, two, which is which returns um, three, but since this is a ceiling, it's going to round up. So since we have one extra, so it's going to be 3.33, it's going to round up to four, because that, even if we have one extra post over the uh, over the number of pages, that extra post need post needs its own page. So we always round up in the uh, in terms of number of pages. So let's loop through on number of pages. We're gonna do array dot from, which basically just lets us create a, a virtual array, just to loop through the. Uh, an array with length number of pages, just to loop through this number. Um, number of pages, and we're gonna do for each. I'm um, gonna have an iterator, uh, a value, and an index. So, index is called that index, and it's gonna have a block of code. And inside of that, we're gonna have uh, a boolean is first page and that would be equal to index equal uh, compared to zero so if we're at zero that means we're in the first on the first page so this should be true is first page const we're going to do const current page equals index uh, plus one so this is the current page um, because because of this index and it has to be a plus one because uh, zero is not a page so it starts from one. Now let's do if is first page return, which means this this block of uh, whatever comes next is going to be redundant. It's not going to be executed because we don't want to create a page for the first page because that's already this. This index.js is the first page. We want to create from the second page and, and and onwards. So create page. So that means from the second page onwards, we're going to create page with the path of uh, backticks slash page slash dollar sign curly braces current page. So this would be slash page two slash page slash three slash page slash four, etc. So with the component, which we haven't brought in yet, let's do templates, templates um, dot post list let's bring that in so post list and I'm just gonna copy this can't be bothered to write the whole thing <laughs> so post dash list which is what we just created and we're gonna use it here and we're gonna pass a context context um, we're gonna pass a limit. I'm gonna show you why we need this posts per page. Maybe you already understand. And we're gonna have a skip. I think now you know why what these where these will go. So index times uh, posts per page. And we're gonna pass a current page. Uh, is current page, which I believe is the equivalent of just leaving it like that. It's gonna assign this by uh, automatically. And now in our query, we're gonna limit, in our, in our uh, GraphQL query, we're gonna limit um, our, we're gonna limit fetching the number of posts to the number of posts per page, because on each page, we're gonna need that number of posts, which is two in this case. And we're going to skip index times post per page. So if we're on page two, we're going to skip, um, we're going to skip one times two because index is not the current page is one. So we're going to skip two posts, which is exactly the number of posts we need to skip and start, uh, querying for this page. So let's do, uh, post list query 
and this takes these variable uh, variables that we just passed so skip of type integer so int capital i exclamation mark because it's uh, required limit same thing int and what did i do <laughs> um that was weird okay it's not anymore so queries all markdown remark and we're gonna sort this by date as per usual so oops so front matter triple uh, underscore date and the order is descending and we're gonna limit by the limit and we're gonna skip um skip the skip and we're gonna get edges and inside of that we're gonna get node we're gonna get the id front matter from front matter we're gonna get title um date actually we should copy this from somewhere else because uh we're gonna be post um gonna get in the same thing as um as in here so let's copy that okay we were here so let's paste this um let's indent this i think it's it's gonna auto identify save yes and it does um let's write our let's let's show our, our thing our posts so oops const posts equals um let's give our props so uh, props dot data dot all markdown remark and capital M here um no, edges and let's get our current page current page from not from <laughs> from uh, props dot page um page context context uh, let's return the following so layout page title um, let's do template literal string page and let's give the number of the page which is current page Let's close the layout and inside the layout we're gonna loop through our posts posts dot map and from each edge we're gonna get the node and from for for each node we're gonna do parentheses to return a post with the key of node ID again we're gonna copy the same from here let's copy this post so we don't waste time typing that we brought in post so everything should should be fine here let's, uh, it should work let's stop that because we edited the config file and the config file is showing red and why is that why is it red actually it's just it's just uh, do gatsby develop um post list we're using post list here should be fine. I don't know why it's red here. Uh, oh, something wrong here. For each. What did I do? Oh, oh well, yeah, of course, this is. Um, I need to close that here. Oh, let's go again. Should be fine now. I needed to surround uh, everything inside the for each with the uh, parentheses. Actually, I need to remove these print, um, these console logs, and it finishes building now. <laughs> Come on. 
Okay, let's just start, uh, stop it and start it again because it's not being polite. Don't know why it's being slow. There we go. Thank you. I feel like I should say thank you. <laughs> okay, um, so if we go to the what do we go to? What did we just do? Why am I having a brain fart? Tag posts, post list. What did I just? Yeah, we created pages. <laughs> okay, so we created pages, but we the index we left it to show three posts, but we need to change that. So. The index, here in the index, we need to show only two posts. So what we need to do is we simply need to limit here. Um, in our post, we need to add as well a limit here, uh, outside of here. So let's do enter limit to two. Uh, should be fine now. Okay, we get only two posts here. Now we should get a second page, so slash page slash two, and there we go. We get the the third post is here, and if we do three, we don't get any page because we only have two pages. And uh, yeah, so pagination now works, uh, but we uh, need to add like links because we we don't want users to type slash page slash two because obviously that's not nice. That's not no one's gonna do that. So we need to show pagination links here and we're gonna do that in the next video. So uh thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.